hello guys you are welcome to today's tutorial uh it's been a long time yeah but thank god i'm back now okay so today i want to teach you guys how to do text wrapping with autodesk sketchbook application and this is the reference we are going to make use of you can see that this picture actually has a very low uh property quality see it has uh it is 14 by 415 by 692 pixel or resolution and that's quite low so <clears throat> we are going to make use of our Remini application if you don't have this Remini version you can message me on on whatsapp or telegram and then we are going to get it and so the moment it open i have to click on my open gallery and then um, i will look it where i saved the picture And then I'll click on multiple results. And uh, here is the outcome. Okay, so I will have to save it and save it to gallery. Okay, so I'm satisfied with it. And then I'll just go back to my gallery and then I'll check what I just enhanced. okay and here we have it now let's check the properties again so we have 830 by 184 now that's quite better than the other one okay so what do you do now the next thing you need to do is to get text okay you can go to google open your chrome application okay and then uh i would just tell you this if i were rather to do it for a client what i'll do is to know what the client is involved in for example if the client uh, is doing something that has to do with business i'm just gonna come to my google and then i'll search something that has to do with business depending on the kind of business the person is doing and if it's a graphic designer i'll just have to you know uh sell the tops for graphic designers okay but to make things easy or if i'm doing it for a pastor I just have to go to my Bible application and then I'll copy it and then I'll have to paste. Okay, but to keep things easy so that you can all understand, let's just search for newspaper today. All right, newspaper today. Next. So let's see which of the newspapers, uh, headlines, and all that we can. Let's go for Vanguard or you can go for Punch or Daily Post, anything. Okay, but let's go for Vanguard News. Okay. okay um well we can see some so you just have to to locate the one you want okay i have no reason to take rest because of election okay let's click on this let's see what we've got all right so you can see there are uh, a lot of write-ups so i can decide so just come here and then I'll click, I will long press on that he and then I'll have to copy all of this text. I don't know if you understand what it is. So, kids, you can take your time to type, you know. Maybe you want to type something that you want to put on it, it's fine, all right. But I don't have all of that time to start typing, so I'll just copy, all right. So, you can be sure it is to actually complete this task. We need to have an app called Pixlab. Okay, so you can download it to your Play Store, you can download it anyway, you can download the new version, doesn't matter. Okay, so just let me open the version I have with myself, the uh, version of Pixel. Alright, um, I don't want that, yeah, so I'll just have to go along with what I have. Alright, so I'll click on this letter A, and then I'll click on text. I'll come to my keyboard, alright, and yes, it, so I'm going to paste it. Okay, can you see this? So I'm going to click on these pieces that we have here. I want to clear out that paragraph. I don't want us to have any paragraph there. Okay, I think it's better like this. And then I'll click on OK. And then the next thing I will move on to do is to change the font. Okay, so I can change the font to anything I like. All right. Yes, so I will increase the size. 
I want it to fold the canvas. Yeah, this will be better. And then I'll just have to balance this up. Yes, so the next thing I'll do is uh, to put these on transparent background and then I will show it, I'll put it on ultra and then I'll pick on save to gallery okay so just wait for it to save and now the moment we have it saved the next application we're going to use is the sketchbook application you can as well download it uh, from the play store okay now I would import that picture we enhanced. I'll click on this plus sign and then new from image. Okay, and then I'll go to uh, Remini where the picture is saved and then I'll click on it. And here is the picture. So before we do anything, I want us to have a copy of this to so duplicate it. All right, and then on the one uh, that you just duplicate, the one on top, click on it and then click on color balance. Okay. And then we are going to shadow okay I want to edit it once i did some things on this shadow i want to make it a little bit darker okay okay see what i'm doing just to make it a little bit darker and then let's go to mid-tones So I'm doing this for the purpose of trying to balance the skin, okay? Once the skin is balanced, I don't have any problem. So I'll click on done, okay? And then I'll click on the layer again, and then I'll click on each other adjustments, and then I'll remove the saturation, okay? And then I'll try to darken this a little bit. Let's see what we have. Okay. I think this is quite better I'll click on done all right now let's see the difference between the two pictures can you see the difference you have made <clears throat> yeah so I can if you are still not satisfied you can still click on it and then you can decide to toggle around with it I can come back to the shadow and then I can still decide to add more shadow to hit okay but I was satisfied with it like this so I'm just going to leave it for now okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to click on my import image and then i'll go to that piece lab where i saved uh, that text copy the other time okay and then let it import and here we have it so i can decide to make it big and i can decide to make it small now let's try to make it big and then we have this just to big by the way Okay, let's let's see this. Let's do it like this. Okay, and then I'll click on the check mark. That is if we want to make it big. I'll duplicate this again, and then I would uh, drag it downward. So if you don't know how to use Sketchbook, you can watch uh, my previous tutorials on that. Okay, it should help. And then I'll click on my check mark. Once I I set it all right. Yes. So I will have to match the two layers together. And the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this layer again, and then I'll click on this blending, okay, and then I'll click on overlay. Do you see what happens? Yeah, but for now, I am not using that. So I'll click on import, and then I'll click this text again. All right, I'm going to make it small. I like it the way the text is not, is not too big. So I'll duplicate again. I mean, I will. Uh, uh, let me duplicate this. Yeah. So I will bring a copy below. Okay. And then I'll click on the check mark. I will merge the two together. And then I can even decide to duplicate it. And then I'll click on transform. And then I can do it mirror. So that I can just shift it to this area. Just watch what I'm doing. Yep. So I can decide to leave it like this and then I'll click on the check mark. 
that is if I want it like that okay and then I'll merge the two together and then I'm still going to put these on overlay Ooh. so can you see the difference between this one that is small and this one that is big you know the way it is big it's lose some kind of texture okay so I'm going to delete that and then let's go along with the one that is not too uh, big okay so even if you are not satisfied yet you can duplicate it so that you can have uh, a obvious outcome all right and you can decide to reduce the opacity all right so you must understand that everything that this text is going to show depends on the first edit that we make okay so you can turn on this and then you click on it and then go to color balance again then you can come to shadow and then begin to toggle around with it till it gives you something you possibly want hope you understand that yes so let me come to shadow let me see if i can make some uh changes to it also yes i think uh this is better by the way okay and you must understand that you always turn it to black and white it is important all right turn it to black and white always that's important and so the next thing i'm going to do <coughs> is to create a new layer and then i can choose any of my tools for example i can choose this hard hairbrush okay and then i can even put the layer on multiply the layer blending and then i'll use black color on the background because i don't want anything to show on the background is to create another new layer and come above this overlay and then let me put this layer on multiply and then the next thing i'm going to do is to choose uh, i can choose my hairbrush okay i want to make the shades of this picture to show okay so i will just have to add some little little shades to it so that it can show and then it will be much more uh you know it will show more texture so that anyone who sees we know okay this is a good work you can see what i mean so trying to give it i'm trying to give it shadow so that it will give it more beauty you doing this will really give your work more beauty okay I hope that you have been able to gain something from this tutorial, you know, on how to do text wrapping because a lot of you have been requesting for these kind of tutorials and then I have not been chanced to do it. I have stayed away from YouTube for some time, but I am back again now. So enjoy the tutorial guys. So even if I still want, I can still create another new layer and then I will put it on soft blue and then I will put this color on white so that I can give it even more uh, highlights okay let me do some here also so that it will give it more beauty you know yes guys <clears throat> so here is the tutorial you have been requesting for on how to do text wrapping so if you like you can reduce the opacity of the text that is if you like okay you can decide to reduce it anyhow you want okay so i think i'm going to make another tutorial on how you can make the skin actually white you know and then the text will be black thank you guys for joining me today bye